Hello everyone. So now I'm going to discuss the topic partial fractions. So here we have the problems. So first step, check whether it is proper or improper fraction. So in this case, the answer is yes, it's a proper fraction. Second step, check able to factorize or not. So in this case, we can't factorize anymore. So it is a simplest form. Third step is to determine the types of factor in the denominator. So in here, 4 minus x is a linear factor. 3x squared plus 1 is a quadratic factor. So now let us begin to solve the situation by forming the basic structure. So in here, 4 minus x is a factor, linear factor, followed by a quadratic factor. So we have to determine the numerator. So for 4 minus x, it is a linear, so the numerator will be a constant. Followed by 3x squared plus 1, it is a quadratic factor. So automatically, the numerator will be a linear. So this is the very important step. This is what we call the basic structure. So next step, we are going to solve. So before we solve, we have to multiply both sides with the denominator. And we will have 6x squared minus 3x plus 14 equals to a. 3x squared plus 1 plus bx plus c bracket 4 minus x. So in this case, I'm going to use the substitution method to solve my problems. So in order to find the a, the b, and the c value, we are going to substitute the value of x. So we will be going around. In, or, in order to find the value of a, we have to make sure the b and the c disappear or become zero at the same time. So now we have to observe the situation. 4 minus x, if we substitute x equals to 4, automatically b and c will disappear. So next step is to try to make sure the b disappear. So for this case, we can make the b become zeros. So the only way is to make the c. In order to find the c, we have to make sure the b will become zero. So by substituting the value x equals to zero, automatically b will become zero. So the final step, in order to find b, we can simply substitute any value. Okay, so that we can find the value b. So that is my suggestion. So with the help from the calculator, you can substitute the value or the equation, key in the equation, 6x squared minus 3x plus 14 into the calculator. By using the function calculate, straightforward, you can get your value. So when x equals to 4, automatically the value for the left hand side will be 98. When you're substituting the value x equals to 1, automatically for the left-hand side, it becomes 17. And if you substitute 0, your final answer will be 14 for the left-hand side. So now let's uh, focus on the right-hand side. If I substitute x equals to 4, okay, so definitely 4 minus x will become 0. So I only focus on the side A. So 4 squared, 16 multiply with 3 we have 48 plus 1 so we will have 49 a so a will be equals to 2 after we have 98 over 49 now we are moving on the second part which is looking for c so now i'm going to substitute the value 0 so i will have a plus 4c. By substituting the value 2a as a 2, so 14 is equal to 2 plus 4c. So 12 is equal to 4c. C will be equal to 3. So the third step will be looking for the b. We are going to substitute the value x equals to 1 for both sides. So for the left hand side will be 17 and then followed by 
4a plus bracket b minus c plus c, we have 3. So 17 will be equals to 4 bracket 2 plus 3b plus 3c. So 17 is equals to 8 plus 3b plus 9. So here we will have 3b which is equals to 0 and b will be equals to 0. So now we already have the value a, b and c. So now we are going to substitute the value. So 6x squared minus 3x plus 14 over 4 minus x, 3x squared plus 1 which is equals to 2 over 4 minus x plus the value. Since b equals to 0, so bx will be equals to 0 plus 3 over 3x squared plus 1. So after we decomposition, decomposite the function, so we have our partial fraction. So here we are and thanks for watching.